Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryan here, the Computer Certification Bulldog, and in today's CCNA 90 Second Boot Camp, we're going to take a look at and configure directly connected serial interfaces. We're going to configure and verify a lab where routers 1 and 3 are connected via their respective serial 1 interfaces. So first off, we've got to take a look at the config and see if we need to do anything to it. That's always important. Then if we do need to fix something, we need to know how to do it and how to verify it. So a lot going on here in 90 seconds. So let's go ahead and bring the live equipment up because for something that's a pretty simple configuration, you would think we've got uh, two routers directly connected, serial interface, you know, what could go wrong? Well, as you're going to see, a couple of things could go wrong. So let's go ahead and bring up the clock and go. Here on router 3, I've already run the show interface serial 1 command and the news is half good. Serial 1 is up. This is good because it refers to the physical state of the interface. That's what the first part of this always refers to. The second part, line protocol, that refers to the logical state. That's down. So what we're looking at is a situation where physically everything is fine but something else is missing. Physically, the kind of cable that we're using for this kind of connection is called a DTE-DCE cable. One end is the DTE, one end is the DCE, and we've got to know which is which. And we see that with the show controller command followed by the serial interface name and number. You can see that this is the DTE end of the cable. If you didn't have a cable here, by the way, it would literally say no cable. It's the DCE end, though, that has to supply what we call a clock rate. So if we go to serial 1, actually I'll do a quick show controller serial 1 here just to prove and you can see it says DCE cable. So let's go ahead and do a command here on serial 1 and here we're going to do the clock rate command. We'll just pick 56,000 and that's what we need on the DCE end of the connection and in just a moment you're going to see that line protocol come up, we hope. So I'm going to stop our clock right there, and you can see it came up at the last moment, so we just made it. But I definitely want to give you a real-world tip here. But you can see the line protocol change state to up. Anytime you're working with a line protocol issue like this one, and in frame relay, you know, we've got the LMI could be wrong, uh, all kinds of things could go wrong to cause a logical issue. Anytime you're working on a line protocol problem and you fix it, do not leave immediately. Always stay around for 10 or 15 seconds because the line protocol can come up, especially when you first open an interface, but it might not stay up. So more of a real world tip there for you. But let's just check that out one time. And you can see serial one is up. We'll go ahead and send a quick ping across anyway. 13.3 and the pings go straight across. So we are good. Hope you enjoy today's 90 second boot camp. I've got a couple that I'm adding to our YouTube channel every week and the website as well. Thanks for joining me. I'm Chris Bryant, the Computer Certification Bulldog.